idea behind this tour, the World of Harmony, that Toyota Classic is putting together, is really the idea of bringing together different cultures, and we can also perform different music from different countries. And so, in this way, we explore the, the marvelous quality of music. Uh, in this occasion, we, we present a tour that goes around seven cities in Southeast Asia. When I work with a soloist, my job really is more than bringing my personal ideas, it's really to be very receptive to what the soloist is trying to do. Musical partnerships are very important. I'm a Singaporean violinist, I'm playing Spanish music with the Spanish orchestra in Taiwan. So I think when I work in this case with Min Lee, I'm really trying to become her in a way. Take her energy and pass it into the orchestra and then become something like a mediator between what she plays and what the orchestra is doing. Well, I think not only as a conductor, I think as an artist in general, part of our job really is to make everybody understand, beginning of course with, with ourselves, that, that there is really no barriers in human communication. And of course, when we talk about the Toyota Classics tour, which is called Harmony, I mean, one of the meanings of Harmony, in a way, is peace. You know, when things are in harmony, they are in peace. I think making music, it's a way of, of asking the world to listen, to have empathy for each other, and to, and to build together a world of peace.
Well, I think every violin has its own personality and character, and this violin is no exception. I've had my Filius now for nine years, so I know his personality very well, and I really love his voice. To me, a violin is like a singer. They all have their own characters, individual characteristics, and their own voices. Um, well, it's very exciting being part of the Toyota Classics this year. Um, I think it's the first time that they are actually collaborating with a local artist in each of the, uh, of the different cities in Asia, and I'm very honoured to represent Malaysia. Sumalam, hanya sumalam, Memanggil manggil, pulanglah sayang padaku. Ku ingin mengubah hati yang rindu. The inspiration behind Semalam was actually to explore or, or, or want to revisit a time that has passed. These songs are beautiful, they are timeless, and they do belong in, in an international repertoire. Well, I think working with Sean uh, has been extremely easy, and I think also for the orchestra it has been very nice to be led by Sean, because he's very clear when he sings, he really has a, a voice that uh, takes along the whole orchestra in, in the direction he wants. It's been a very, very wonderful collaboration.
The second song is I Have Dreamed, and it's from the repertoire of uh, Rodgers and Hammerstein. It's one of the most beautiful songs ever. It's nice that I, I get the chance to perform it with an orchestra. I have dreamed that your arms are lovely. I have dreamed what a joy you Music is by far the most um, powerful language. You can't have dance without music, you can't have uh, an opera without music, you can't have songs without music. Well, to be honest with you, there is two ways you can approach accompanying a song. You can really focus on the words, or you can do it in a more, I would say, artistic way, which is maybe not pay so much attention to the words, but really feel what the sound is like, feel what Xiong is saying. It doesn't matter what the words are. The great thing about this concert is not about getting to play with the orchestra. The great thing about it is to be able to share your culture with another culture. And so the idea behind this series is to get together local artists, in this case in Thailand we have the exceptional 
uh, company of Tor. So we have a local artists which bring, of course, their point of view and their, their idea of making music together with the more traditional repertoire of classical music. You get to exchange your thinking, you get to exchange, you get to open up your mind what people from other countries think about your music. It's good because you get to spread your culture as a Thai. It talks about a waterfall, the beauty of a waterfall. For Thai people, I mean, for especially Thai musicians, it's, it's a great honor to have your king as a musician. And then it's great, once in a lifetime, you get to play his song. Echo, it's talk about how the piano echoes back with the orchestra. For us it was a very interesting experience because the music he does is really quite different from what we are used to. And so it was quite challenging, you know, to get together these different styles of music. I mean, the, the use of the orchestra in his arrangements it, is quite classical. In a way you could say it's quite Western, really. But the music itself and the language is very Oriental, it's very, very much Thai.
people know the piano as an as a instrument that every country plays. But then, how about you bringing a piano instrument and play it in a Thai way? I think that that's the most special thing about this song. Khon Mai said it means unspecial person. It's from my pop album. It's one of my hit song here. I think it's gonna be different. It's gonna be uh, something new for my fans to hear it in a version that you have an orchestra back backing you up. I think making music is a way of, of asking the world to listen, to have empathy for each other and to, and to build together a world of peace. Well, the Toyota Classics concert, the World of Harmony, is a wonderful initiative from Toyota that uh, will help bring classical music to many different countries in the, in the world. Music is a great way of implementing harmony and it has a very unifying uh, um, effect. It's a language that anyone can understand. It's really a language beyond words and that really embraces cultural harmony for me. Well, the magic of music is that it sometimes it makes you feel something very, very deeply, and yet you don't know why. It's very powerful. I think it's by far the most powerful art form. You can't have dance without music. You can't have uh, an opera without music. You can't have uh, songs without music. People just use seven notes, turn them around, you know, switch it around, and you, you get like billion songs. You get like billion songs. How, how can that be? I think that's the music. It's the most perfect gift from God to mankind. I think making music is a way of, of asking the world to listen, to have empathy for each other and to, and to build together a world of peace.